Hey guys, this is Amy4 and today I'm bringing you a weapon guide of the F2 for Mars and why I think this weapon is one of the best weapon in the game. The F2 for Mars is a attacker's weapon that can only be used by Twitch. Twitch may not have the best gadget but her weapon categories makes up for it. One of the biggest aspects of the F2 is the high rate of fire. The F2 has a very high RPM of 980 which is the second fastest RPM in the game next to the SMG11 pistol being the fastest. The F2 also deals a decent amount of damage per bullet. In close range against light plated armor, the F2 is going to deal a damage of 39 to the body and 29 to the limbs. Against medium plated armor, each bullet is going to deal a damage of 35 to the body and 26 to the limbs. Again between the light and medium armor, you will be dealing a consistent damage and you will drop enemies with 3 shots to the body and 4 times in the arms and legs. If you have decent accuracy, you should have no problem dropping enemies. It's pretty much a guaranteed kill in close range because of its high RPM. Again, heavy plated armor there is a small difference as the F2 would deal a damage of 31 to the body and 20 to the limbs so it would take an extra bullet to kill them with four times to the chest and five times to the arms and legs although if the enemy team has an extra armor from rook then there is a bit of a difference when engaging up close to medium range between the light and medium armor with extra plates it would take at least four to five shots between the chest and limbs and with a heavy armor it would take at least four to seven shots between the body and limbs this is why it's vital to have have rook in the team as the extra bullet could give you that edge against the f2 so if you're using the f2 knowing that the other team has rook then you should aim in the head for a guaranteed headshot or to the body if you're not confident aiming to the head as it only takes three to four shots to the chest with or without extra plates of armor the f2 has a normal magazine size of 30 which is a surprise considering in other shooters such as battlefield or counter-strike it has a magazine of 25 close to its real life aspect although the famas can also have 30 rounds in real life so it's fair to say that it's fine to have a normal magazine size in the game and because of its high rpm you run out of ammo so fast that you're most likely to get two enemies in a single mag it also has a mobility of 40 which is normal aiming down sight speed for assault rifles one of the issues i have with the f2 is the reload speed i don't have exact numbers of the reload speed but it feels slow when reloading especially when you went through all your ammo sometimes it gets me killed when taking the first enemy out and then suddenly the second person pops out out of nowhere and it kills me because the f2 reloads so slow another issue i have with the F2 is the recoil. The F2 kicks up quite high which is expected for a high RPM weapon. Although with the foregrip it feels slightly manageable so you should have no problem controlling the weapon. I would definitely recommend to burst fire with this weapon if you're engaging in longer ranges. For detachments I switch between the reflex or the ACOG sight depending on how I feel using the F2. Sometimes I like to use the reflex if I'm being aggressive or sometimes I use the ACOG sight if I like to be passive and to have that extra accuracy between medium and long range engagement. For bright attachments, I use the flash hider as usual because of the visual of the flash, although it's not much of an issue anyway and both barrel attachments slightly reduces the recoil. Vertical grip is also a must to control the recoil, especially if using the ACOG. And no laser sight again because it just gives your position away. Overall, the F2 is one of the best attacking weapons because of its versatility and it's able to do all well in all ranges. Like I said previously, it's one of the best because of its high RPM and decent damage, there is no problem and dropping enemies up close. Having the foregrip on will make the recoil manageable so you will likely to do well in every engagement and if you're good with the ACOG scope then you will do just fine up close and even better in medium to long range. That's about it for the F2 guide, my previous weapon guide was about the 416C so make sure to check that out. I hope you found this information useful and for the next weapon guide I will be doing Bandits MP7. Thank you for watching this is Amy4 and until next time.